This video will cover how to use the DX7 and other FM synths to create a stereo piano patch by layering a FM patch with mono piano samples. The piano that I played for the intro came from a Kurzweil 1000 PX Plus being layered with the TX802. I'm using the SY99 to play it because it's a 76 note keyboard that can cover the bass range. Originally, I created a stereo piano for the SY99 by layering samples of my friend's Baldwood Grand with an FM patch. When I was converting my stereo piano samples to mono for the limited RAM of the SY99, I noticed how dull the tone was on the right channel. I realized that FM would be able to reproduce the lower range of a grand piano for the right channel. The tone of large instruments, like a grand, have strong fundamental harmonics. Since the DX7 uses sine waves to create sounds, it's ideal for reproducing the thunderous tone of a grand. Often I find the tone of samples to be too thin, so FM is ideal to give body to a sound. This method of layering FM with samples was used for the Gideon Horns patch. The previous video covered crossing key maps. That method makes it difficult to tell where one sample key map starts and where the next one begins. So layering a FM patch that has no maps for its tone is great for layering with samples. To get the most out of this video, I recommend listening through headphones or good speakers. I did some EQ to the Kurzweil piano because it was too boomy in the 500 hertz range. Here, I'll play without the EQ. So I brought it down a little. And this EQ cell setting will also apply to the K1000. I think the Kurzweil 1000 series synths have the best piano samples, other romplers of that period. I plan on doing a comparison video with the M1, the D70, and the SY77. Yamaha is known for making great pianos, but they really dropped the ball with the piano samples, and they didn't use the method I described to beef up the piano pace range. The 1000PX is really nice because you can set the piano samples to be panned from left to right across the keyboard. So when I play this low C, it's on the left hand side, and then the middle C is in the middle, and then the high C is coming from the right. The 1000PX has an auto pan feature that does this. I can show you how it's set up if you go into edit, and then go to, I think it's page 230. Let's Yeah, this is, it's hard to see this screen. It's actually not this dim in real life, but it makes it difficult to see in the video. But here's the auto pan setting. And then you can hear it's showing how to pan it from left to right, but I set it to auto pan to do that. And the SY77 has the same feature. On the SY77, it's 207. I mentioned that Sector 101 makes a wave blade that makes it possible to load samples into the SY77. So the SY99 Franken could be loaded into the SY77. One last thing, for the piano sample setup, make sure that both are in tune to A440, otherwise it'll sound like a honky-tonk piano. Now that the piano samples are set up, the FM piano can be designed. A new Off The Matrix patch was created for this purpose, the patch Grand Right. The patch uses algorithm 3, which is two towers of three operators. For the rich piano bass, only the second tower will be needed. The first tower, which was used for the tremble range, should be muted when layered with piano samples. So just go into oscillator and by just turning off the three first three operators, you only hear the tone of the second tower. 
I'm using the TX802 for this video, but it's essentially a DX72 in a rack. And this method will work with other FM synths. I wrote down the settings for the second tower for you to use as a reference. I do this often for complex patches. Since only the second tower is needed, I only wrote down the settings for operators 4, 5, and 6. I set the, left the settings like the pitch envelope blank since it's not needed for the patch. Operator 4 that acts as a carrier will be set to a ratio frequency of 1, and then the second, the first modulator, will be set also to 1, but I detuned these two operators by 1 cent, or two, actually 2 cents, to put some motion in the sound, and then the sixth operator is set to 7 for the brighter, higher overtones. Next for the envelopes, the scaling will be set 3, 2, and 3 for the second tower. The scaling isn't too important for the patch. What's really important is not to have um, the envelopes too fast. Um, for operator 4, the first rate will be 83. Operator 5, 72. And then operator 6, 62. I notice how slow the overtones rise on the bass range of my piano samples. Often the DX7 patches that have envelopes that are just too fast. The rates 2, th 3 can be set in the 20s for all three operators. You can refer to the um, patch chart I showed earlier. Um, the decay should just be as long as a piano and the release should be set around 50. Next for the output levels. So I'll go into level and then Operator 4 will be set to a level 99. Operator 5 will be 81. And Operator 6 can be set around 64. And Operator 6 is what, since it creates the uh, higher overtones, by making it the output level higher, the tone will become brighter. So here's set at 64. And then bring it up quite a bit like that. That's too bright, so you could bring it maybe up to 68. And next for the velocity settings. So the velocity sensitivity I have for 6 is just 1. 3 I have the highest setting of 3. I mean for operator 4 I have it at 3. And operator 5 is set at 1. Um, the piano patch can be panned like this about 80% to the right, and this is how it sounds like in the center. And you listen, so I'm gonna round over here. That's about right. Now I'll bring up the Kurzweil samples, and this is where the magic starts. I mean, that sounds, that sounds like a stereo piano sample. And now I'll just play the Kurzweil by itself. And now I'll bring up the uh, FM piano, and then it becomes stereo. And it's adding these lower overtones that really sound like my uh, friend's grand. That, I mean, it had, he uh, modified the hitch pins so it sounded like a Bosendorfer. But it's not quite finished. The level scaling needs to be set so the FM piano gets softer as it goes up the higher range. The, tie, the tone for the high range should be almost a sine wave. So I'll play the C4. For that, set the scaling of operator 4 to a negative 30. And then operator 5 would also be a negative 30. And then 6, a higher negative, or a negative 60 setting. And you just refer to the chart I showed earlier. That's all for now. I hope to finish new DX7 banks in a few months. It's not easy to create patches of such quality, but fortunately many patches that were developed for the SY99 can be converted to the DX7, as was this piano patch I covered. This is a zither patch I worked on last night. Until next time, 
Take care.